Hey guys, sorry for interrupting. Just want to give a quick shout out to V over at Vera Glass. I've put together a little quick ad thing for her shop. If you do like anything that you see here, be sure to check it out. Links for her shop will be in the description box below. Thank you. G'day Purple fam, that guy Perps here, back with another music reaction video. Jumping back on to Tom McDonald. Now, I'm sorry Tom, Nova, the team over there. I really don't know what happened. I'm subscribed to your channel. I've got the notification bell on. I haven't been getting notified. Um, it was only through, I saw a couple of other reactors drop this, uh, especially my friends over at Two Cute Pagans. Um, I saw them drop a reaction to this and I was like, well, Tom dropped a new, you know, and then I had to go back in the channel and I've seen there's, there's probably three or four in the last month and a half, two months that, that I haven't even, didn't even know about. So hog fam, I apologize. I should be on the ball a bit better. Um, I did step away from YouTube with some technical issues and stuff and wasn't really, you know, keeping up to date. So could have been in that time as well. Um, but yeah, no excuses, only apologies and, uh, promise that I'll do better. So, Hog Fam, this is uh, Brainwashed. This is Perps. Going to do a reaction to it. Let me know what you think down in the comments section. If you do like the reaction, make sure to hit the thumbs up. Like always, head over and support Tom on his channel. Link for the description, link for the original will be in the description box. Um, and, yeah, let, let's see what this man's got to say. He always, always has something to say, and he always likes to ruffle feathers. So, um brainwashed i can at a guess i'm gonna say it's probably about you know mainstream media um corporations governments all giving us a perception of reality and making us brainwashed to believing certain things when if we step back and thought for it ourselves we'd see the world completely different and would see through the lies and bs um especially with what's going on in the world at the moment. There's a lot of conflicting stories and uh, conflicting views. Uh, yeah, I know just here in Australia, um, we, we get, you know, five, five new cases and, and the whole state gets locked down, you know, and there's, there's jobs that are going and uh, the economy's tanking and, and all these sort of flow on effects because we all believe one narrative. Now, I'm not saying that that narrative is false, um, but, you know, just, on the term brainwashed it, it could be that it could be just social media it could be the music industry obviously you know there's all these artists that uh you know personally i, I just think are trash and they seem to be getting numbers and then you know a man like tom who, who comes out and spits a message yeah he may look a little bit um stereotypical of a of a certain genre but then when you hear him and what he's talking about, he completely blows your mind on all that because he's not about that. Um, you know, and they seem to, yeah, those other people seem to be making numbers and, and you know, getting support when what the, the message they're pushing is just trash. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't like coming in with preconceived ideas, but Tom likes to, you know, chuck up, <laughs> you know, brainwashed or, or yeah, just... All, all the titles that he uses are, are there to invoke and provoke um, thought. And, yeah, let's get into it. I've spoken for enough. Half the country fell asleep, but they scream woke. We're distracted by vaccines and TV shows. Politics, celebrity, gossip, popular, neat quotes. Black lives, white lives, which lives mean most? We only dedicate... So, yeah, typical Tom McDonald, 13 seconds in, and he's already spoken about, uh, you know, 150,000 different topics. Um, but, yeah, like that whole, you know, the Black Lives Matter movement, sort of love it or hate it, agree with it or disagree with it, um, you know, it was there and it got corrupted by, you know, a faulty element and then... A different narrative gets pushed and I don't think it's you know anything to do with any particular group any particular belief it's just the nature of human beings is is corrupt uh, there'll always be one bad egg that'll go and infect everyone else um, so yeah let's see what else he's got to say or let's see what other uh, 
other bars I missed actually. Half the country fell asleep, but they scream woke. We're distracted by vaccines and TV shows, politics, celebrity, gossip, popular, neat quotes, black lives, white lives, which lives mean most? We only dedicate one day to remember our fallen soldiers, the men and women who died young. Yeah. See, here in Australia, we've got, um, you know, two days, I, I guess. Um, Anzac Day, which is, is more a remembrance of like World War One, D-Day, um, but then in, in amongst that, anyone who fought in World War Two, anyone who fought in any of the wars gets sort of bought into it. Um, and then we sort of honour those that are serving and former serving. It all gets in, you know, encompassed into the same day. And then we have Remembrance Day, which is on in November. Um, so, you know, roughly six months ish apart. Um, and... You know, that's obviously to signify the end of the war, you know, the 11th to the 11th. On the 11th hour, we give a minute silence. Um, you know, as a you know former Defence Force personnel myself, um, each and every one of your countries that you're from and you're watching this now uh, has likely been to war to fight for the rights that your country now has to be the country it is. Um, so, yeah, I personally think we should we should treat those people better. Um, a lot of veterans throughout the world just get completely ignored once they're, you know, oh, you're not serving anymore. I'll back of the line, take a number. Um, but yeah, I can feel this is going to be a big one, a deep one. Uh, they always are with my Tom McDonald reactions. I don't know what it is about the man. Um, oh, he just makes me, makes me think and, and talk and whatever, which I, I guess is good for reactions. Um, but yeah, if you guys don't like it and, and want to skip ahead a few seconds, I totally understand. But um, yeah, hopefully you're here for it. And uh, yeah, let's see what else he's got to say. Politics, celebrity, gossip, popular, neat quotes, black lives, white lives, which lives mean most? We only dedicate one day to remember our fallen soldiers, the men and women who died young. But if you come out the closet as Caitlyn Jenner, you're a hero and you get a whole Pride Month. The most dangerous pandemic's propaganda from these clowns. Only mass that's gonna save us is duct tape on their mouths. Don't speak. We don't need to defund police. Need to defund the media who lies through their teeth like Big Pharma doesn't cure you, dog. Cause every patient that gets cured is a customer lost. And big oil runs the world. The only wars that get fought are with the countries who have natural resources they want. Heard him. And that's the thing, like, he doesn't necessarily spit opinions. He, he always spits facts. Um, he didn't say he believes in this or he believes in that. He just said that this occurs and this occurs. And then we all go, well, oh, shit, yeah, like, it does, you know? And, and it's so true. Um, the world has an addiction to oil, you know? It has had for nearly, near on 100 years, I guess. Um and that addiction, we, we need that fix. You know, the only way to secure more oil is to, you know, go to where it is at. And a lot of the places where it's at, it's, uh, yeah, pretty coincidental that that's where there's wars. I'm claiming if a white man braids his hair and likes rap, he's appropriating culture. But if a white man acts too white, he's white trash. He's a racist, he's a bigot, he's a monster. Let's just have the conversation. Not every liberal is dumb, not all Republicans are racist. The government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. They can Facts. Facts. I love what he's saying there. Um... And governments throughout the world do that. You know, they, they look at, um, you know, they always try and divide people. You know, rich versus poor, black versus white. Um, just everything, you know, rich black versus poor black. You know, rich white versus poor white. They, they always set these divides so that there's always this constant divide with each other so that we never form unity and we never can then fight as a whole you know there, there's a lot of strength in numbers um i know you know from a one perspective that I, that i know of with this that that occurred is um all the outlaw motorcycle clubs in australia you know there were a big crackdown where um, police were making them not allowed to congregate in groups more than two not allowed to wear their club memorabilia not allowed to wear anything that resembled a club um, 
and you know traditionally a lot of clubs sort of hate each other or there's there's a bit of beef there and um they're, they're very divided but they all came together for um can't remember the act now but they all come together to, to fight the the laws that were coming down and they actually made some change you know like they might not have stopped it completely but they made some change so that to me just shows that regardless of your differences if we can all come together you know the enemy of the enemy is my friend sort of thing um you know we don't have to stand for tyranny and governments and dictatorships and stuff like that you know governments are supposed to be for the people so yeah if we all came together like tom's saying and uh you know don't fall into the trap and don't be brainwashed by the government to think that your neighbor hates you and you hate your neighbor um, you know, maybe we would be better. This hair and likes rap, he's appropriating culture. But if a white man acts too white, he's white Again, trash. He he's a racist, facts. he's a bigot, he's a monster. Let's just have the conversation. Not every liberal is dumb, not all Republicans are racist. The government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. They can't stop us because we're ready to fight, trying to brainwash us. But we won't let freedom die The whole world's brainwashed Everybody pick a team, start a riot in the streets The whole world's brainwashed It's us against them, it ain't you against me how did monkeys become people and people turned into sheep? They put fluoride in the water that's keeping us all asleep. Claim they want what's best for us, I find it hard to believe. Cause they've been selling us cigarettes since we was 18. Fake news, fake woke, distract and divide. You're either right or you're left or you're black or you're white. Big tech don't need a microchip to hack in your life. Cause the phone inside your pocket is a tracking device. <laughs> Facts. Um, interesting fact. Uh related but not really related uh I took my daughter out we went and watched the new space jam movie now i don't want to give any spoilers of it out there but um yeah you know, anyone that has kids and is likely to go watch it it's a pretty decent movie um if you like the old one you'll like the new one but the the main nemesis guy is our g rhythm you know algorithm and he he lays it out there nice and easy for the kids um you know anything with a camera I'm watching you. Anything with a microphone, I'm listening. And it it was done in a way that, you know, is going to go over kids' heads. They're not going to care. But I was thinking to myself now, is this, is this like a loophole now that, you know, in 10 years when the kids say, oh, but you never told me. It'll be like, well, hey, like it was in the movie and it was laid out for you in black and white. You know, it was, I'm the algorithm in the computer uh, I'm listening to everything. I'm watching everything. Every time you walk down the street and go past a hundred security cameras, I have you on the cameras. I know where you shop. I know what you like. I know what you drink. Basically, I know your life, you know, like, so yeah, there's no really escaping it. And it just sort of, what he was saying there just sort of really, uh, made me, made me think of that. Um, another thing I will say is a lot of people give Tom, um, a lot of shit for his hooks um even personally i haven't really appreciated a, a, some of the hooks some of them uh, you know that they take a little bit longer to grow on you um but this one i think is quite catchy uh, i could well not catchy catchy but I, I can see it um if you listen to the song you know you're gonna be hearing it so yeah it's catchy because <laughs> we're ready to fight try to brainwash us but we won't let freedom die The whole world's brainwashed Everybody pick a team, start a riot in the streets The whole world's brainwashed It's us against them and you against me how did monkeys become people and people turned into sheep? They put fluoride in the water that's keeping us all asleep. Claim they want what's best for us, I find it hard to believe. Cause they've been selling us cigarettes since we was 18. Fake news, fake woke, distract and divide. You're either right or you're left or you're black or you're white. Big tech don't need a microchip to hack in your life. Cause the phone inside your pocket is a tracking device. And I don't know what I'm more sick of. Rappers or Joe Biden looking like he ate 100 Xanax for dinner. Cause censoring the president and kicking him off Twitter is a bigger threat to freedom than foreign belief. Missile. You don't trust the police or the government, but you want people giving up their right to own a firearm. Why would you be comfortable if police and the government the only people on the planet with the right to buy a gun? 
White privilege getting amplified to reinforce the vision. It convinces white people that they're favored by their skin and black people getting angry because they're told they're treated different. So the conflict is between us and never with the system. Let's just have the conversation. Not every liberal is dumb. Not all Republicans are racist. The government wants everybody fighting with their neighbors because they know that if we get along, we'll probably go against them. They can't stop us because we're ready to fight. Trying to brainwash us, but we won't let freedom die. The whole world's brainwashed. Everybody pick a team, start a riot in the streets. The whole world's brainwashed. It's us against them, it ain't you against me. Step one. Train the people only to consume. Step two, infiltrate adults with the news. Step three, indoctrinate the children through the schools and the music and the apps on the phones that they use. Step four, separate the right from the left. Step five, separate the white from the black. Step six, separate the rich from the poor. Use religion and equality to separate them more. Step seven, fabricate a problem made a lie. Step eight, put it on the news every night. Step nine, when people start to fight and divide, take control. This is called situational design. We just laid it all out for you, spelled it out, numbered it even, and uh, yeah, I, I can't pick a fault with anything he just said. I don't know about you, but um, you know, you see it on the constant. Countries will try and take as much power as they can away from the people and then claim that they're for the people and doing it for the people's safety. Um corporations and governments will try and push a narrative um even to the point where certain advertising is only in certain places because they know that those people have a tendency to you know splurge on those sorts of things um e even down to corporations pricing things differently depending on the socioeconomic situation of where their store is located um, that happens a lot here, you know, even, even down to supermarket chains, you can go to one place and a loaf of bread's $3.50, you go to another place, the same loaf of bread's $3.20, it's the same shop, same brand, same bread, why is it different just because, you know, I'm in a affluent or, you know, less affluent area, like, makes no sense, um, it's just another, another tool the government uses to divide us, um, that's why I guess, you know, the internet is good and bad at the same time. It has the power there to unite us all with similar views and bring us all together. Or it's another tool in the pocket to help divide us, you know, like, um, you know, it just takes one person with some negativity out there. And then all of a sudden there's an argument, you know, people can't have conversations anymore. There can't be a difference of opinion without finding a middle ground and, and a, respecting the other person's opinion even though it differs from yours you know there's there's just my opinion and your opinion and you know if one of us thinks we're right we're just gonna bang 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 all the way home so yeah i guess we are all brainwashed and we need to open our eyes and become better with our our community and our um our neighbors and look past the so-called differences that we all have you know like um if you go back to the basics we're all we're all skin and bone you know we all we all bleed red and yeah there's not much else different to us you know <sighs> tom always gets you thinking doesn't he the rich from the poor use religion and equality to separate them more step seven fabricate a problem made a lie step eight put it on the news every night step nine when people start to fight and divide take control this is called situational design they can't stop us because we're ready to fight trying to brainwash us but we won't let freedom die the whole world's brainwashed everybody pick a team start a riot the whole world's brainwashed It's us against them, it ain't you against me Nova doing it again with the video Don't expect anything less Tom and Nova, that power couple Everyone, everyone wants to be um, Yeah, they both got each other's back They're both helping each other um, You know get to that height and they're in it together so yeah well done nova 
well done tom <laughs> another uh thought-provoking experience um but yeah let me know down in the comment section guys um what did you think of this song you know especially the hook you know did you like the hook i quite liked it um i reckon yeah it's going to be quite catchy it's going to uh yeah obviously i saw in his um just when i was trying to find this um i think it was like number four on trending or something like that so um he's been doing really good numbers and and that just shows that you don't have to be signed to a label uh it's a lot harder i guess as an independent artist to to get your name out there do your own marketing and everything like that but um you know tom's clearly good at it and everything he drops you know does does pretty well so um yeah let me know in the comment section guys if you did like the reaction make sure to hit that thumbs up and like always if you are new to the channel and you like what you saw here go back through the couple other videos there's lots of different genres lots of different artists uh, consider subscribing to the channel it does help the channel out and i uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one and until then i'm that guy perps i'll catch you then